Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to mod Trombone Champ using a mod manager and the in-game song downloader. This also works if you've previously modded the game the old-fashioned manual way and you want to upgrade to using the in-game song downloader or the mod manager. Note that I'm using Windows for this tutorial, so if you're on a different platform, some steps might be a bit different. And if you're on Mac, um, there's a different mod manager you need to use, there's a link in the description for that. First of all, what we need to do is download R2 Modman from the GitHub page. Um, you want to download either the R2 Modman setup.exe or the R2 Modman.exe. The setup one will install R2 Modman onto your system, while um, the exe one won't, and it's just a standalone program. I recommend you doing the setup one. So once that downloads, you want to run it and choose where you want to install it. I'm not going to click install because I already have it installed, but you will click install. And then once it installs, it should look something like this. Um, just search for trombone champ and it should come up. You can just use the default profile for this tutorial. I'm going to create a new one. So this is where all your mods are going to show up once you install them. Go to online, and this is all the mods currently available for Trombone Champ. Um, we need to download the Toot Tally Song Downloader. You could just search for it if you can't find it. And it, yeah, and download that. Now when you download this, over here, it's going to install a bunch of other mods as well. I'll put a in the description, I'll put um, an explanation of what all of the mods do, or most of them anyway. And that's all there really is to installing mods. Um, now, R2 Modman, whenever you open it, it'll tell you if you have some mods that need to be updated. Um, you definitely need to make sure you keep them up to date, especially the two tally ones, because those get updated quite often. And sometimes if a mod is really old, it might say deprecated beside it. That means that the mod is not supported anymore and it's not getting any more updates. So if it says that, I recommend either disabling it or just uninstalling it completely because there's a good chance it might start breaking the game soon. And now the next step is going to be only if you have previously modded the game the old-fashioned way. You're going to want to migrate all the songs you had downloaded into the new R2 Modman directory because the directory is different now. If you have not previously modded the game and this is your first time installing mods, you can skip this section. So what you want to do is go to Settings and click Browse Profile Folder. And it will open the window behind here. And then you need to find your Steam um, folder as well that you installed songs into previously. So you open Steam, right click here, and then you go Manage, and then you click Browse Local Files. And it will also open behind here. Now both of these windows have a BEP and X folder. You need to go into that folder in both windows. Now this is the old one and it should have a custom songs folder and a plugins folder. Delete the plugins folder, because if you don't, it'll start messing your game up. And the custom songs folder, you want to move it into the, the new folder. And that should move all of your custom songs that you had previously. Then you can close out of that, and then go back to R2 Modman. And now what we have to do is start the game to make sure it works. It says mods loaded successfully. That's a good sign. It means the mods are working. And there we go. Now to download songs with the in-game song downloader, you want to click mod settings, more songs, and then you can just search for whatever song you want. If there's a chart for it, it should come up here. And then you can just click download there and it should work. And then... And it should show up right there. And that's all there really is to installing custom songs. It's pretty simple. But just a couple notes about the in-game song downloader. Not every song is currently available to be downloaded. They don't all have download links. So I still do recommend at least knowing how to install a song manually, the old-fashioned way. And I have another video about how to do that. It's still pretty simple, but there's a lot more songs that 
out there that are not available through this. And one more note, um, if your mods are not working and you can't figure it out and you have no idea what you're doing, I recommend going to the Trombone Champ Modding Discord server and they have support channels and people who do know what they're doing and they can help you there. But they might ask you for your log files. So to find those, you want to go to Settings, Browse Profile Folder, just like last time, and then Bepin X and this file right here, you just want to take that and drag it into Discord and send it and they'll know what to do with it. And there's one other log file they might ask you for, the player log. To find that, you need to go into the address bar and then you need to go to this um, directory. I'll put a link to it in the description to just paste into there. And you need the player log file. So that's all there really is to it. I hope this helped and I hope you have fun with the funny trombone game. And happy tooting!